Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious apple fritter bread. Filled with tons of apple, cinnamon, and nutmeg, perfect for the fall time. And it's topped off with a delicious, beautiful glaze. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start dicing our apples. So I'm using Gala apples for this recipe, but you guys can use Granny Smith apples or even a Golden Delicious apples, whatever you guys have on hand. So next we're going to start cutting our apples. So I'm cutting my apples into quarters, then I'm going to slice them horizontally. Then you're going to cut them in strips and then those strips are going to be cut into a medium sized dice. Next you're going to add 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. You're going to give that a stir and then you're going to set it aside. Now we're going to make our brown sugar cinnamon mixture. So in a small bowl, you're going to mix a quarter cup of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and you're going to give that a mix and you're going to set that aside. So next we're going to make our batter. So we're going to start off by making our brown butter. So brown butter is one of those ingredients that is super special in baking and also in cooking. It has a very nutty flavor and smells amazing. So in a pot you're going to add 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter and we're going to start toasting the milk solids in the butter. So it will start to turn a golden brown but continue moving your pot so it doesn't burn. So once that's done, you're going to pour your brown butter in a small bowl and you're going to set that aside to cool. So now we're going to mix one cup of sugar, two eggs, vanilla, which I forgot to put in, but you put in your vanilla with your eggs. Then you're going to mix in your delicious brown butter, and you're going to make sure that you're getting every bit of that brown butter because it's going to make this dessert even better. Then you're going to whisk all that until it's fully combined. So next we're going to start sifting our dry ingredients. So in a medium sized bowl you're going to sift 2.5 cups of all purpose flour, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So now we're going to alternate our dry ingredients with one cup of buttermilk. 
mixing through after every addition. So now that our batter is done, we're going to put half of our batter into a lined grease loaf pan. Then you're going to add half of your apple mixture on top of your batter and sprinkle some of that delicious brown sugar cinnamon mixture right on top. So now you can add your remaining batter right on top and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add your apples and then you're going to add your brown sugar cinnamon mixture right on top. So we're going to bake this off in a 365 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes. So once your apple fritter is out of the oven, you're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. And then you're going to drizzle some of your beautiful glaze right on top. So I just mixed a third cup of powdered sugar and three tablespoons of heavy cream for this glaze. So if you guys prefer a thicker glaze, instead of adding 3 tablespoons of heavy cream, you would just add a tablespoon and a half. This apple fritter bread is seriously so delicious. It's extremely moist and filled with fall flavors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!